Okay guys, I just wanted to go over the necessary stuff to fuel inject a uh, Toyota Land Cruiser Straight 6. Uh, the 2F uh, mainly is what we're dealing with here. Um, in some of the other videos you can see doing Mega Squirt, but I never really laid out everything and I actually have a kit here uh, that I just put on the floor and we can see everything all in one just to help you guys understand really how simple these things are. Uh, you know, a lot of people, including myself, before I really had done any wiring, uh, it comes across as really, uh, you know, complex and there's a lot of uncertainty uh, before you learn about it. But I've got everything laid out and I'm just going to go over it and show you really how simple it is. So. This is actually a GM based computer. This is not a mega squirt. So it's a little bit different, but they use all the same sensors. If you used a mega squirt 2, it would be, I mean, you're using all the same stuff uh, essentially. So the wiring harness, you have just two plugs that go into your ECU, and you need to give switch power to your main fuses, and those five ampers. Uh, mainly are for the injectors. I think uh, those just go straight down. There's one other 5 amper uh, that I'm not sure where it goes, but on the Mega Squirt build, you just need two 5s for that. This might be for oxygen sensor. I'm really not familiar as much with the GM, but uh, they have actually a diagnostic port on one of these uh, that you can probably flash out and even here this gives you a wire that goes to a, a light bulb so you can go connect a light bulb for a check engine light and tell you if there's any issues with your sensors and then as we move along here this is your fuel pump circuit so this big guy is your fuel pump relay and it's got some fuses incorporated in there. Uh, let's see what else is in here. It gives you, oh, this is your direct to battery power feed. And I think this one is, oh, your tack out. That white guy just goes to a tachometer. And uh, let's see, it's got one more here. Oh, power to fuel pump. So this is all, these two right here are just your, uh, power to pump and then your straight power to battery and then over here you got this little lone guy coming off that is oxygen sensor uh, this is a narrow band which is over here uh, right there and if you guys don't know the difference between a narrow band and a wide band uh, a narrow band is basically telling the computer you're either rich lean or it's stoic you're right on and a wide band will tell you anything from like uh, 8 to 1 all the way up to like 19 to 1 it'll give you all of those and it's a 0 to 5 volt and that one's a it's like right around 1 volt on the uh, narrow band but this computer uses a narrow band on the mega squirt you can use either I'm using a wide band um, but here's your map sensor so that's your manifold absolute pressure you just take a little vacuum line and put it on your uh, intake somewhere after the the butterflies, so that it's reading the manifold, not up in here where the in, where the air cleaner is. And so basically, you just have map. There's your stepper idle air control. It just has a little four plug. And then this little three pronger is your TPS, throttle position sensor. And over here, we have the coolant temp. It's a GM style. And there's an adapter you get. This is just 3 8 NPT, national pipe thread. And you can get an adapter to go into the stock Toyota thermostat housing. We found that it was a half inch NPT. Um, but yours might be a metric. I don't know if ours had been tapped previously, but anyway, you just slam that in there. And there's your injector wires. These guys clip on 
up here. So they actually clip on like that. There's two little prongs right here. They just drop on and has a little rubber seal. And this little grommet goes right in here. There's a little slot, you just slide them in there. Uh, and, oh, a fuel pump. On like, few, there's a website that's like sounds super generic, but it's pretty good. It's like fuelpumps.com or Walboro fuel pumps. And you can get the fuel pump just for TBI. It's a lower pressure unit. Um, even though this is self-regulating. So on here, there's a, actually a fuel pressure regulator up in the TBI itself. So you don't even have to run a fuel pressure regulator when you do the conversion. Uh, you just need a fuel filter. So over here, you can just run one of these plain Jane dudes. Um, just go from the fuel tank, go from the fuel tank into the filter, into the pump, and then up and into your motor. All right, and then you're just gonna need a gasket. That's, that's the Felpro number. There's like Hyundai, Toyota, Mitsubishi, Nissan from 69 to 96. Super common dude, it's just that uh, like two barrel. And uh, let me come around here so it doesn't look all funny with the camera. And then here is the TBI gasket. There's your part number for you guys that want to be able to get this sucker or just ask for basically V6, V8, whatever, 68 to 95. Uh, just the gasket for your throttle body. These guys are everywhere in the junkyard. Uh, they're pretty easy to find. And you'll need an adapter. This one's from Up and Over Innovations. They're probably not in business anymore because I haven't really heard of them, but I could be wrong. Uh, this is a freaking nice one. The one we did on uh, my cousin's project is just a big cast iron, or sorry, cast aluminum piece that uh, doesn't look as pretty. I mean, this sucker is like billeted aluminum with some fat welds but anyway this guy just sits on top of it uh, it goes this other way like that and then this bottom piece goes onto your uh, intake manifold just like that all right and you're also going to need a fuel pump block off plate uh, let me see if I can open this with just one hand here. You're going to need this guy. It's just a fuel pump block off plate. You can probably find them on eBay or someplace that sells Toyota stuff. Because uh, you're not going to need that fuel pump anymore. you got this electric guy over here. Uh, then you, a throttle cable. This one's just like a universal dude. There's the brand. I mean, there's probably a hundred different cables and different conversions for throttle bodies that you can find on eBay and stuff. Uh, generic air cleaner, K&N makes one. Here's the part number. This is pretty old. I don't know if they make it anymore, but you're welcome to try it. Uh, let me turn this around. Maybe this serial number means anything to you guys, but you can uh, you can check it out if you need it. Actually, with this harness, we're really not even going to use any of the GM computer stuff. I'm going to cut open the harness, pull out the wiring that I need for the, the sensors, and we're going to go mega squirt on this particular Land Cruiser. Uh, so it's a restoration in progress. Um, originally, we were just going to keep it carbed, but we actually came across this kit, and it was uh, pretty much free. So... We're just going to take what we can from this, mainly the uh, TBI adapters and some of the stuff, and uh, cut up the harness and put a mega squirt in it. But anyway, I hope this was informative for you guys. I mean, really, you just have like a few sensors, throttle position, map sensor, uh, your stepper idle control, you need uh, your coolant temp sensor. On the Mega Squirt, you need an inlet air temp sensor, which is honestly almost the same exact sensor as this uh, coolant temp and O2 sensor. 
and it's pretty much it. There's so much uh, information on this and how to wire it. On the DIY Auto-Tune website, you can find all the wiring diagrams for this. It's super simple. It might look complex, but it, I mean, it's almost as easy as wiring a stereo if you've ever done that before. So hopefully that helps someone out and you guys can get fuel injected on your uh, older Toyota Land Cruisers. Thanks for watching.